JV is very proud of its 17 National Merit Scholars. In order to honor these outstanding achievements, students and their parents were invited to a breakfast buffet. To be a Merit Scholar, these students have to have made a score of 220 or higher on the PSAT. These students show the spirit of Jersey Village High School by truly soaring above the rest. Band's biggest fundraiser, Chili Supper, is a great way to listen to and support our high school band. Tresor Brill was there to share in the excitement. Every spring, the Jersey Village Band and Orchestra hosts their traditional Chili Supper. Chili Supper is just a fundraiser for band where we, uh, uh, every one of the different bands goes and plays music to entertain their family and friends. This year's Chili Supper was a little different than the others. Instead of playing their concert music, the band performed hits from their halftime football performances. The Cook Middle School Band also joined in for the show. In addition to the silent auction, the jail was as popular as ever, throwing anyone and everyone I'm sorry, you have to come to jail. Here, give me that. This year we had uh, Mr. Kidball get thrown in jail for $300, and we had to bail him out for about that same amount. So that was a real good way to raise money because everybody loves Kidball. With music, food, and fun, this year's Chili Supper was definitely a night to remember. Trace Burrell, JBTV News. Being fit means to be strong and live a healthy life. Many programs here at Jersey Village are trying their best to help students achieve this. Matt Beerwagon tells us more. What they're doing, the whole district is uh, sitting in a program it's called the fitness program, and uh, every school does it and every student does it. During their English class, they come in and it's one time a, one time a year they, they test their fitness. We also have every sports program, ROTC program, any kind of after school program to do stuff with so they can keep stay in shape. The whole district, district wide, they do it. Uh, I want to introduce uh, sprints. I wanted to introduce uh, pull-ups. And I also want to introduce, uh, if possible, something like yoga. Stretch the body. I feel like they just get you to your max limit. What they push you to, what you can achieve. They get you to go your max limit and beyond. It's a great program. Without it, I probably wouldn't have started running outside of school. Probably just be sitting on the couch playing video games, getting fat, doing something. The students are very appreciative of these programs that are helping them to stay physically active and plan to use what they have learned to stay more fit in the future. Matthew Beerwagen, JVTV News. Graduation is right around the corner for our seniors. As a part of traditions here at JV, the students put on their senior spotlight. Manjot Jawa tells us more. Another tradition continued this year as the graduating class of 2011 put on their senior spotlight, April 13th. The seniors got to show off their talents one last time as they performed songs. I liked emceeing for everybody. It was really cool to see the audience interact with me, to feel their feedback as I announced the senior awards, um, all the different acts and events. So it was pretty fun. To, um... Congratulations to the graduating class of 2011. We wish you the best in your future endeavors. JVTV News, Manjot Chawla. Ms. Fitzgerald has been a teacher here at Jersey Village High School for a long time, but she plans to retire after this year. Erica Lewandowski takes us in for a closer look. A longtime teacher here at our school is finally retiring. 
After 30 years at Jersey Village, Ms. Fitzgerald is saying goodbye. Well, I have been um, teaching for 33 years, and um, I've been thinking about this for the last couple of years, and I just feel like it's, I want to go out with a positive attitude. So I just felt like it was a good time. And there's a lot of changes coming up in education, and I didn't really want to <laughs> deal with those. <laughs> Ms. Fitzgerald graduated from Texas A&M with a Bachelor's of Science in Secondary Education in 1978. From various math classes to SAT prep, Ms. Fitzgerald's lessons have not only helped students but administrators alike. You know that when you go into her classroom that she's going to be prepared, she's going to have good examples ready, um, good explanation. Um, she's very business, matter of fact, there's not a lot of goofing around. Um, yet that doesn't mean she can't be fun. She is a phenomenal teacher. Um, the knowledge that she has and the span of the, the courses of which she has taught and can teach, um, her ability to be able to break information down and or be able to pull information up so that the kids can enrich and expand their knowledge and relate that to other things. She's truly a master teacher. And she makes sure that her students are prepared and not just for the day to day and what they need on her test, but what they need for future math courses. In her 30 years here at JV, Ms. Fitzgerald has been more than just a teacher. Uh, I'm the math department chair, and I am one of the heads of the four small learning communities that we have at Jersey Village. I've written curriculum for the district, but my favorite thing is the classroom. That's where I strive, and that's, you know, that's where I work hardest at being the best. Uh, her smile and her laughter will be missed, I think, the absolute most. Um, I like being able to walk down the halls, and she's always smiling, always talking to kids, always has something to say you know, to somebody, or just, you know, good morning. That extra little bounce in her step just kind of makes, makes everybody smile and feel welcome and, and ready to be here, and it's a pleasure to always be in her class. So I think that first and foremost that the kids, you know, and the teachers, anybody kind of walking into her class are just going to miss that, that passion that she has and just that ease uh, of feeling welcome as soon as you walk into her classroom. Even though I am much younger than she is, I appreciate all that she's taught me both as a teacher and as an administrator here. Probably in the fall I'm going to look for another job. I don't know exactly what, but um, something different because I've done this all my, all my adult life. I've been a teacher, so I want to I try something different. I just don't know what yet. Though unsure of your plans, Ms. Fitzgerald, we will miss you and wish you the best. Erica Lewandowski, JVTV News. The senior parents thought of yet another fun way to raise money for Project Prom. King of the Court allowed students to enjoy a great time playing volleyball and raising money at the same time. The teams tried their hardest to make it to the finals in a double elimination tournament. Overall, the crowd and the players had an exciting night. Thanks to all the parents for all their hard work.